I'm Phil Stachinskis, I paint model tanks, I'm just going to show you a small technique for adding a little bit of interest to the surface of your model. So, here we've got a model of a Churchill tank, it's got a warm winter camouflage on, it's been matte coated, dulled down, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just brighten up some of the surfaces and add a little bit of interest and a little bit of brightness just to show some areas of wear and just to poke out some detail. So it's quite a quick, simple technique to do. All I've uh, used is a little bit of oil paint. Put some on, a, on, a, on the palette. Use an old stubby brush, and I just get a little bit of the paint on the brush, wipe off the excess, and then it's just a simple case of stippling onto the high points. But because the oil paint is translucent it's not hiding or it's not obliterating the layer that's underneath it's translucent so the colors that are underneath show through so we don't have to worry about that we're hiding any of our previous layers so, didn't want to do that. so all we're going to do So all we're going to do is we're just going to go over the corners going over the high spots and the corners and the edges will just start to get a bit brighter not, I don't want to go over all of the surface I want to keep some of the dull flat surfaces matte and subdued because this will contrast with the, the brightness and the, the sort of semi shine of the, the green that I'm putting on Slowly working over the surface of the model, not putting too much on at a time. And I'm going to concentrate on areas of wear, so I wouldn't necessarily do too much on the sides because that's not going to get so much wear, but all the horizontal surfaces areas where the crew are getting in and out, so hatches, edges of panels, corners, because all I'm trying to do is just incorporate as many different tones and as many um, little areas of interest just to, just to break up the surface of the model because most AFVs or most tanks are painted one colour so it can be quite difficult to make them look interesting so this is just an easy way just to lift the surface of the model So don't, I don't want to go over every part of the model. I want some of the areas to be 
to, to remain dull and sort of a bit flat because that will contrast with these lighter, brighter areas. So if I have areas of matte, flat areas, that will make the, the bright areas seem brighter. And like I say, because, because the oil paint is translucent, it, it doesn't cover or it doesn't obliterate what's, what's already on. And if you want to get right, really technical, because, uh, because this paint is like a translucent green, and if you notice I'm going over the worn chipped areas, which have been applied with a dark reddish brown, well, when the translucent green goes over the reddish brown colour, it makes the reddish brown colour darker because um, to, to, to make the red darker, we add green. And I'll just, I would just slowly work over the surface of the model and just sort of step back every so often and just review, review what you've done. Add a little bit more. And then, just when you think, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just put a little bit more on, that's kind of the that's kind of the time to stop because always kind of err on the side of caution. So hopefully that's been of interest and a little bit of use.